Well, I'm uh, James Baker. I'm Org's Campaigns and Grassroots uh, Activism Manager. And what I want to do in this video is just talk you through everything that we're doing at the Open Rights Group to campaign against the government's new uh, Data Protection and Digital Information Bill, aka the Data Discrimination Bill. Now, we call it the Data Discrimination Bill because data discrimination is what this bill will unleash if it passes through Parliament. Essentially, it downgrades and deteriorates all of your current uh, data protection rights. Um, and those rights are in place. They're there to protect you from data discrimination. What we mean by data discrimination, we mean examples where uh, algorithms, where the computer says no, where you face discrimination and unfair decisions because people have put uh, discriminatory biases into algorithms and then they're making decisions about your life you know whether uh, you your job application gets looked at whether you get sacked from a company in some instances all of that stuff where you get unfairly discriminated against due to the misuse of your data and your data protection rights are there to protect you as an individual they give you certain controls and ways to remedy some of those um, examples of, of data discrimination when, when they occur when they could affect you. So if you go onto our uh, main website, openrightsgroup.org, you'll see we've got a big banner, Stop Data Discrimination Bill. Click on that and we have got our campaign webpage for this campaign. And we've got loads of resources, uh, loads of information, ways you can take action and get involved with this campaign, uh, help defend your data rights and help stand up against data discrimination. First off, if you are minded to learn more about the bill, if you want to get all of the really technical, amazing briefing, then please do uh, read our briefing by uh, Mariano. It is really excellent. Um, we've got, uh, got it on the webpage. You can download it as a PDF. So please do take the time. Um, you know, if you're minded to do so, have a look through some of the details and find out exactly what the bill is uh, going to be doing. We've then got a load of resources for organisations. We're going to be uh, updating these in the coming weeks and months. So we're uh, going to be releasing more sector-specific briefings on how the bill will be affecting different people, such as workers, such as migrants, um, such as those in health sector. We've then got uh, ways in which you as an individual can take action. Now, first off, at the top of this list, we have got our campaign pack. So this campaign pack is a toolkit for you as an individual or working with other people, forming an org group. And it takes you through different political actions, how you undertake them, whether that's writing a letter to the press, whether that's going to lobby your MP, whether it's kind of running a street stall to distribute leaflets to let people know about this. All of it is there. It is um, there for you to download and use as a resource. So please do um, take a look at that. It, it's a toolkit to empower you to take action and to achieve political change. We've got some uh, videos that help explain what the bill is about in a kind of easy, accessible form. Um, so please do check those out as well. More of those will be, be coming out in uh, weeks and months ahead. We have got a uh, leaflet which we've designed, which you can either download and get printed yourself, or if you get in contact uh, with myself at Open Rights Group, just supporters at openrightsgroup.org, or kind of like uh, DM us on Twitter, or message us on, on Facebook, or get in contact with us on any of our social media channels, um, we can get some of these leaflets to you, so you can kind of distribute them uh, either leave them in kind of libraries, coffee shop, places like that, or working together with other people. Maybe you could hand some out at a train station or, or stall or what have you. Um, so please do take a look at, at that leaflet if you want to kind of get active and campaign on this. Uh, finally, we've got some um, kind of online tools. If you want to take action now, you can uh, email your P MP. We've got, it's, click on this link, it takes you through to another page. Um, we've got a tool, if you're just entering your, your details and your postcode, it will pop up automatically with who your MP is. And you can use this tool, work your way through it to kind of write them a message on the web page and just uh, ping them off an email. Now, putting those in your own words really does make a difference. You know, MPs and their caseworkers will kind of look at this stuff. And if it's put into um, your own words, it's a lot more effective. They won't just then, it's hard for them just to send like a kind of boiler 
plated reply to you. So please do take action there. And if you do want to hear more about the campaign, then you can opt into it um, easily. And then we can keep you updated with kind of future campaign uh, activities that you can undertake. So this campaign is very much live. Um, the bill itself, obviously, with the, the changes in uh, Prime Minister and changes in ministers at DCMS, it has been put on hold a little bit. There's some talk now that they might be doing another round of consultation. But the risk with all this stuff is actually when the bill comes back, if it does, does come back, then it might come back even worse um, rather than better. And, and this is really important for us to be standing up against data discrimination and standing up for our data protection rights. You know, we increasingly live in an age where we do more and more things online. And if we don't have those strong protections for our rights there, then we're increasingly um, at risk of uh, being discriminated against or having uh, powerful companies or powerful individuals or organisations misuse and abuse our, our personal data that then has very real world uh, negative consequences for, for individuals. So please do get involved. Uh, any questions, get in touch with me. I am here to help and support you as uh, supporters of org and campaigners in kind of being effective and campaign about this stuff that you care about. Uh, so thanks thanks very much hope you found that useful